conversation with you if you'll sit down sit back and have one with me i like to hear your opinions and ideas in the comments well right now i'm sitting here talking about uh i watched this movie called 411 you know missing people and i tell you what that kind of stuff is kind of scary you know these are our national parks now remind you i live in north carolina and we have a lot of little parks in north carolina so uh, some of these places, well, are they, uh, uh, you know, haunted or are they aliens there abducting people? You know, it kind of makes you uh, wonder, don't it? Well, I tell you this, um, it also reminds me of the fourth kind. What if there are creatures out there who uh, can take control of our bodies? Because, you know, the well, well, reason why I say the fourth kind, you know, that movie, um, uh, with uh, Dr. Abigail Taylor, which was played by uh, Milo Jovich, which she's a hell of an actress. I mean, oh, I love just about anything she's in. Not just the other, she's beautiful, but she is a great actress, and the role that she played in, I watched The Fourth Kind, and The Fourth Kind scared the hell out of me. Because it makes me wonder, wonder if this shit is real. Wonder if that, uh, you know, something can take control of your body or abduct you, you know, because you're dealing with technology, that is beyond our technology. Maybe they can beam us through somewhere or something. Who knows? And uh, wonder if they're really experimenting. Cause, you know, you know, okay. In the fourth con uh, since the 1960s, there's been a disproportionate number of uh, the population around uh, Nome, Alaska, that has gone missing. And plus, you know, no one knows where they went. No one knows what happened. And some of the stories I've been uh, hearing about when I watched the movie 411, you know, the, those missing people uh, in our national parks, you know, you said they're going, now, how, is there a connection to that? Now, they are ancient creatures, in my opinion, that do probably still exist, because, you know, check out uh, Bigfoot. Now, no one has seen it, although, wait, well, let me just let me rephrase that. There has been sightings of Bigfoot, but there has nothing been but shaky footage, except one footage of Bigfoot, um, of those two riders that caught Bigfoot. To me, that, uh, that there, you know, I'm sitting there going, that looks authentic. But can't anyone else get one? Really? I mean, we have digital cameras on our phones these days, you know? It'd be nice if we could get a good picture of one, someone out there. I'm not going out there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I tell you, I have been in woods that scared the hell out of me. I'm a camper. I'm an avid camper. I used to camp all the time. When I was younger, I feared nothing. A uh, polar bear? Well, I'm going rephrase that. Black bear. A black bear? Yeah, yeah, right. I just scare them away. Trust me, I've been around bears. Uh, I've heard cougars. I haven't been around them. I've seen bobcats. I have seen all kinds of strange looking creatures. Uh, in these uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, you know, it's a wonder. It's a beautiful place, trust me. It is, oh, breathtaking. It is worth seeing, you know. But in these other national parks, like I said, uh, the, uh, the movie uh, The Fourth Kind, eh, kind of weird. You know, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. You know, how they uh, say that these aliens are going to more or less take over your bodies. And uh, talk through them. Talk ancient, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, speaking of very ancient language, uh, uh, Macedonia or something like that. But, you know, it just, uh, you know, one of the first civilizations in mankind. Now, this movie was uh, filmed in 2009, and it's based off a real character. A real character. You know, um, and. Uh, Dr. Uh, Abigail Taylor, more known as Abby, uh, she's the one who was researching this. Uh, actually, she's, she was a therapist, and she stumbled across something that she was not meant to stumble across. Uh, yeah, Samarin, that's what it was. Uh, 
these, you know, they speak in an ancient language, you know, Sumerian was a very, very old language, you know, I don't, I never really heard it until I sat there and watched these, that movie, and then I'm going, ooh, chills, Cause how do I know I got an owl sitting out my window, sitting there staring at me, yeah, yeah, hair noises out there, I'm getting chills already, but let me tell you, because you never know what's living in these woods, because we're not in there 24-7, say for instance, this really actually happened to me, um, it was me, my brother, we were sharing a tent, and there was another tent which was uh, about 20 feet away from us, which is my cousin and his wife. And of course, we stayed the night, we roasted uh, hot dogs and all that, we just have a good old time. And so, we went to sleep, I woke up, I was the first one to wake up, because I heard something. Um, my brother has a, like a, a netting down at the bottom of his tent, you know, allow airflow, of course. He's a, he had a very good tent. And I looked down, because uh, the night before, my other cousin with his son, they came down to see because this campsite is not that far away from a bunch of my kinfolk. And we're like the second generation camping in this campsite down, down in my grandma's woods. And uh, so I've been down. I see uh, two young feet in tennis shoes. And I'm sitting there thinking, that's my cousin's son. Because they mentioned they probably was going to come back down, you know, pay us another visit and hang out a little bit, which is cool. I didn't mind. I said, come on down. And um, so I said, ah, ah, he, they're trying to sneak into camp or something. You know, they're coming down the trail. I saw the feet turn into the campsite. So uh, in a split second, I mean, no one had time to do anything. Because if they did run, I would have seen them. Because as soon as I unzipped and stuck my head out, went, ha, ha, there was nobody there. There was nobody there. I am dead serious. It freaked me out at first I was going did I just see the ghost I saw a pair of feet it was attached to something and I'm sitting there thinking why didn't I look further into that netting why didn't I look down and see if I could see who it was because they didn't notice me but uh, they probably noticed when I unzipped and stuck my head out when I ah, you know and instead I went oh, oh, oh go God but my uh, my grandma's woods uh, she owns like 42 acres you know back up towards the foothills and it has been known to be kind of haunted you know some strange things some strange noises we used to joke around you could hear the banshee which is actually bobcat screaming they had the freakiest scream you ever heard but it makes you wonder what if that was really a banshee out there i'm not going in those woods you're gonna see me hugging the fireplace and piling piling more wood on it so I guess you think about this other movie. You see these movies, these people missing, and the, the, these alien encounters. And sometimes these people come up, uh, they find them, but the problem is they find them miles and miles away. There's this dude, you know, I, I don't want to name names or anything, you know, because um, you, you sit here and think about it. There was this dude skiing in New York, and he ended up, in San Francisco still in full uh, snow gear in San Francisco there ain't no snow in San Francisco and I guarantee you he was hot sweating probably because that's winter gear he was wearing in New York when he was skiing you know how cold it is to ski although I suck at skiing I was more of a, a ski boarder um, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, uh, you know, snowboard. Snowboard is <laughs> tons of fun, but I digress. Um, it is cold out there, trust me. I've been up on those mountains, I've been, you know, up in the Boone area, Sugar Mountain and everything, and it's cold. And you're coming down that hill, it's cold. You want to be warm, trust me. And he ended up missing, and all of a sudden he's in San Francisco, and he's going, how the hell did I get here? I mean, there's been some reports where people have been missing for months, and then it turned out uh, they just like they just woke up in different clothes in different area. Like, what I've been doing? Where have I been? It's like something took over their bodies. It's like something got into them and went um, walkabout. Yeah, that old saying from Australia: the walkabout, where you actually do walk about, walk about everywhere. You know, go exploring. So it makes you wonder, you know, it's some scary stuff right there. I mean, it still kind of freaks me out. But, you know, uh, 
Let me know what you think about this. Uh, have you seen the fourth kind? Do you think it's real or is it bull crap? And plus uh, the 411 uh, movie where uh, people are missing, a lot of children especially go missing. You know, it makes me want to grab my grandson. You know, it's going, yeah, 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 don't come near me. I get you. Or maybe that might get me. And then all of a sudden I become somebody else and walk away like a zombie or something. I don't know. It is some freaky stuff. When you talk about uh, uh, alien speaking Sumerian, it's like that movie in Predator 2 where uh, um, that one cop is sitting there with a blade and all of a sudden he kills that one predator, but all of a sudden these other predators appear and you go, okay, who's next? <laughs> and then that one predator throw him a gun and found out that they had been there for a very long time since, oh, I think, what was it, the 1600s or something? Probably been there way, way before man, you know? So it tells you. Who else has been visiting our world? Or who else was like an ancient creature? Or were they really from Earth? Or really from somewhere else that was set loose here? You know, these are some wild and crazy things that's happening today. You know, it is freaky, my friend. So let me know what you think. If this is real, if it's bullcrap or entertainment. You can tell us. Talk in the comments below. And plus, please subscribe to this channel. Because there's some more crazy stuff coming this way. I mean, hey, you never know what's out there. Because like uh, the old X-Files used to say, something's out there. <laughs> so um, this is Leonard Ridge from the Blue Ridge Dragon signing off. Y'all stay safe there. Take it easy. And you're always awesome.